Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. I certainly am. I wanted to be able to talk about and share some really great strategies under emotional intelligence, but specifically under your own emotional awareness. When an external stimulus enters uh, information into your brain stem, it first passes through your limbic system. And your limbic system in the brain is where you feel things emotionally. And then that information passes through to the front of your brain, your prefrontal cortex, and that's when you're capable of thinking about it rationally. And so oftentimes emotional intelligence is this gap in time between when I feel things physically or emotionally to when I can think about them logically and then use that information effectively. So an exercise in developing your emotional intelligence is learning to identify when you're in an emotional state, what that feels like physically. The sooner you can tune into your body when you're being emotional, the sooner you can then get to understanding the emotional state you're in and then also thinking about it logically. So for example, I'm sitting in front of the piano here because when I would have to perform publicly on the piano, which was something I really didn't enjoy doing, I love playing the piano, but public performance was not something I loved. I get really nervous. When I get nervous, my hands get cold. That's the first physical manifestation of nervousness for me. And so in my development of emotional intelligence, the trick for me was being able to pay really close attention to myself under emotional information or emotional stimulus and identify physically how is it manifesting itself so then I can start thinking logically about strategies to use to reduce the emotional impact so then I could interact with people or an event or a thing in a much more successful way.